Good morning, everybody. It is 9.54, and today is Tuesday. Remember what Tuesday is for the IAEI. Right down here, IAEI News Live is going to be live today, Tuesday, December 21st at 12 o'clock Eastern. And you know what today's discussion is going to be on? The Time Current Characteristic Curve, TCC. So we're going to take a look at TCC curves. We're going to take a look at time, the, the whole concept of a time current characteristic curve, uh, thermomagnetic circuit breakers, electronic trip units. We'll take a look at different manufacturer um, designations and how they represent the time current characteristic curve. And I believe what we'll try, what we'll do is we'll take a look at uh, uh, we'll take a look at what the TCC curve is in its final form based upon settings, and we'll understand the different portions of the trip curve. Then we'll take a look at how a manufacturer represents their curves. It's going to be a little different. So what I'll first use is, uh, is a software application that lets us and helps us manipulate the trip curves create time current characteristic curves that have multiple devices on them and how we would engineer a power distribution system. Then we will take a look at, we'll take a look at using that software, we'll take a look at the settings and how we can change portions of the trip curve in some cases. Then, hey, Nihad, yeah, it's going to be. A, it's, I, I'm looking forward to today's discussion on the TCC because I think there's a there there the other aspect of the time current characteristic curve is outside of what um, I got Jake down here. Maggie's at the uh, at the vet. Hey Dan, best of the season to you. I got uh, this is a this is a, a vacation week for me, so we got some stuff done. Went some did some things working around the house uh, this week. I got Jake with me because Maggie went to the vet, and uh, Jake is sitting here crying because because um, he misses his uh, his sister. So anyway, um, we're going to talk time current characteristic curves today at twelve o'clock Eastern on the IAEI website uh, and, and and their their YouTube site. So we're going to take a look at what the what the um, how like a program like SKM, and you can use EDSA, Easy Power, whatever one, it's just, I use uh, SKM. And um, we're gonna take a look at how it's represented there, but there's a journey that the time current characteristic curve takes between the manuf what the manufacturer publishes and what we see on a trip curve. So, uh, we are going to take a look at the final result and what we would see in, say, a software application that, that helps us understand selective coordination and coordination in general um, and protection, because we'll, we'll even plot a transformer damage curve. We'll plot a motor starting curve and help you understand how and why you have different settings and what they do. So I get this question often. Uh, they'll look and they'll say, hey, I got, I got all these dials. I got LTPU. I got STPU. I got PU. Uh, so, hey, Phil, we're going to do this at 12, buddy. So you got to tune into the IAEI's YouTube channel because I'm going to stream on their channel. Right now, I just I was just setting things up and brought Jake downstairs because Maggie took went to the vet. And um, I just wanted to let everybody know what's going to happen today at 12. So I've, I've got, I'm, I'm going to fire up and make sure that my SKM software is working good uh, and that I can connect in. So I'm doing a little testing there. So I am, uh, in fact, so I, I, I got my uh, computer on a little bit of an umbilical cord here. And I have my, my ATEM. So I got, uh, I, got, so I, got, I got a longer lead for my USB. So I can open up uh, SKM, Systems Analysis Software. So I'm just getting ready. So I figured, hey, might as well get ready live. And I'm going to test some screens out because I, wanna, I want to, uh, okay, yeah, so this is looking good. So this came up. Let me see if I can display it. Uh, let me see if I can display my second computer. Is it Moby? Nope. That wasn't it. 
Let me go to IAEI. Go ahead, Jake. Get up on the couch. Get up there. Go ahead. Get on the couch. Lay down. Um, Moby. Me, Moby? Nope. Monitor one. ATEM. There it is. Okay, so now I think it's second input. Auto. Cut. One. Cut. No. I'm coming out. Hold on. I got my computer and a 10 mini. I believe all of that is good. I got all of that on. I'm on input number one. So I am input number one. Cut. All right. So I should be displaying right now. And I am. I'm not displaying. Uh, activate. I'm going to do a deactivate and I'm going to do an activate on Black Magic Design ATEM Mini Pro. Configure video. Cancel. I'm on the Black Magic. Okay, so let's do this. Let's make sure that I'm doing multiple screens. Display settings. See, this is what we do. We get set up, Phil. We do this live. And um, identify. I've got two displays. It says I have two displays. Oh, no, it doesn't. Duplicate. Show only one. So it says I have two. It says I got two, Phil. Identify, detect. Don't detect another display. It's not detecting another display. I take my HDMI and I put it in there. It says I got two displays. Man, I'll tell you. Kids, what are you gonna do with them? It says, and, and this is this is I got one cut. Uh anyway. Fade to black. Cut, cut, one. I don't want to fade to black. I don't want to fade to black. All right, gentlemen. I don't know what's going on, but anyhow, I'm going to have to figure that out. See, that's why we do this ahead of time. So I will be, um, so we're going to talk about time current characteristic curves today. I have the link, I believe, down below. So if you're not subscribing to the IAEI's YouTube site. I need you to do that. You need to get over there, subscribe to the IEI's YouTube site. We go live every Tuesday at 12. So in two hours, two hours from right now, we're going to go live. Uh, and hopefully I will figure out my, um, my issue over here with my ATEM Mini Pro and see why it's not displaying correctly let's remove it yes and i'm going to add it back and i believe it's a display capture no it's not a display capture it is a not a window a video capture there it is a temp mini why is that flashing two auto one auto should be displaying all right well gentlemen i don't know i don't know what's going on with my a10 mini i'm shutting it off i'm turning it back on again all right well i will be um we're going to be talking uh we're going to be talking tcc curse today and while I try to get this set up, I will just ask that you transform and we go to full fit the screen. There it is. I don't know what I'm doing wrong. Black magic design auto. 
defaults. There it is. All right. Okay, so go back to. I come back to custom resolution 1920. There it is. Match. Hit OK. I'm set. Okay. We're good. All right. So I knew we'd figure that out. And then I'm going to bring up SKM. Look at that. I got SKM going. So that is a good thing. We're going to talk. We'll take a look at, uh, we'll, we'll plot some curves. We'll help you understand circuit breakers and fuses, the time current characteristic curve, how to read a time current characteristic curve, how they how the curves relate to each other. We'll use I use SKM, but if you you know there's uh, Easy Power, um, there's SKM Easy Power, uh, EDSA EDSA I think it's EDSA. Um, there's a few others. So, and, and Eaton makes one too. So, anyway, I don't have a key for that one, and I have not learned from that one. You know, this, you know what these softwares, this software is like Windows and Apple. If you've learned on a Windows computer, you won't buy Apple stuff. But if you learned on Apple's, then you're not going to buy Windows stuff. So, um, although in my house, I've got both. So I got the best of both worlds, but I only have SKM because we pay for that. And uh, I'm not buying more than one when I got one that does the job. All right, so be with us at 12 o'clock Eastern today. I got this all set up. I will try to figure out some breakers. If you have some specific breakers, make it happen. Uh, send me uh, the breaker that you're looking for. and. Um, Send me the breaker, uh, the model number, or whatever it is, and we'll take a look at that trip curve. We'll take a look at the manufacturer's trip curve, which is going to be different than what you're going to get out of SKM. And we'll understand what the different settings are, how to determine when you look at the faceplate of a circuit breaker, you're going to see dials and you're going to see digits. How do I translate that into a actual time current characteristic curve, which is going to tell me how they trip? Hey, Steve Cavalleris, glad for you to join in. Thank you, and I'll be looking for you at 12 o'clock on the IAEI's YouTube site. You're coming in on my YouTube site. So remember, and that's why I did this, get over there, and, and uh, the IAEI's YouTube site is www. Hold on, let me do this. This is what we're going to do, Steve is what I'm going to do. Me and PowerPoint. All right. So we're going to go to www.youtube.com slash. I think it's user slash IAEI international. So youtube.com. Youtube.com slash user slash IAEI international, all one word. And there's two I's there in the beginning, the last I in IAEI and the first I in international. So IAEI international. And check out this and you look at this, look right here. You can go to this where it says TCC curve. You can set a reminder so that it will pop up on your phone or on your iPad or whatever it is. And I got two of me in the screen. <laughs> Why do I have two of me in the screen? I got Logitech. There we go. And I got Logitech. Look, I had two of me. All right, so check out IAEI or look at the I have the TCC I've put it up there you can set a reminder by clicking on it and it says reminder on and you're going to want to come up to here and well you should see a subscribe button on this site so in fact what I am going to do is I am going to switch account I'm going to switch to mine and then you see where it says subscribe and you see a bell. Click on the subscribe and click that bell. And, 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 and it doesn't cost a thing. 
That's the cool part of all of this. Doesn't cost a thing. And there is a lot of really good information here on this YouTube site. We are continuously building it out. Look, we've got IAI training shorts, metal underground piping. We've got um, concrete encased electrode with Chuck Mello. Introducing our new members. We have a, a complete channel on IEI News. <laughs> Jake is crying. Jake's missing his brother, his sister. We've got all of Rudy's 10 at 10s. And then look what you can do. You come up here to playlists. And, and this is important. Come to playlists. And you can see there's a playlist on the Fuse. There's a playlist on GFCIs. A playlist on circuit breakers. A playlist on panel boards. A playlist on grounding and bonding transformers and so here's what's going on when we create material that fits in one of these categories we add it to that playlist and we can control what goes first and all that jazz so you'll have some code requirements in there you'll have what is a gfci in there you'll have how how they function you'll have some longer videos some shorter videos so and you can subscribe to a playlist so that when something is added you see it whenever you go to YouTube. And it doesn't give you emails. It's, we're not, I'm not bombarding you with emails or anything like that. This is just, you subscribe to IEI News, you hit the bell. If you're on YouTube or whatnot, it'll pop up. And if, I, if you're on your phone, for example, when I'm on my phone, if somebody goes live that I'm uh, following, it, uh, like on my iPhone, it'll pop up. Um, hey, damn it. it will pop up in the, list of like activities and stuff like that and you can turn all of that on and off so get over here to the IAEI's YouTube site you gotta join you gotta subscribe to that it's free and there's a lot of good information over there so and we're going to continue to grow that site absolutely going to continue to grow it but we need you to need you guys to get over there and do some clicking all right, so thank you, and uh, and I hope you're enjoying this week. I know I am. I'm having a blast. I'm getting some stuff done around the house, uh, playing some Call of Duty every now and then. So if you play Call of Duty, let me know. We'll we'll shoot some zombies together. Uh, I've been playing my guitar and uh, playing with the dogs and Jake and Maggie and crew. So hopefully you uh, you guys are enjoying uh, the holidays. All right, everybody, I am going to uh, just finish some things up here. I want to make sure that everything is looking. I got to pick out some breakers for our discussion this afternoon in less than two hours. All right, I am going to sign off and hopefully see all of you cats and jammers uh, today at 12 o'clock noon on IAI News, on IAEI's YouTube site. If you're not following them on Facebook and LinkedIn, get over there as well. So when I stream, the Tuesday at noon sessions, I stream to YouTube, LinkedIn, and Facebook. If you're watching it on LinkedIn or Facebook, get over there to the YouTube site. You've got to subscribe. We have a lot of viewers on Facebook. We've got a lot of viewers on LinkedIn. But I need you guys and gals to get over there to the YouTube site and hit that subscribe button. All right? So I'm counting on you, and I'm counting on you all to get that done. All right, so salute. Buried is still my favorite map. Hmm. Awesome, Dan. So you're a player. In fact, I was just playing this morning, and I'm learning on zombies, World War II zombies. Uh, the World War II zombies, I play that one. And um, uh, I was uh, trying to figure out how to get the record. So there's a sequence where you find these spindles. And you shoot them down off the roofs and they land, you pick them up and then you put them over in this one little window. And then you have to set them to the right time. And then you have to get the, um, uh, the, uh, the boxes that tell you what time to set them on. I can't get, there's this one pit where you have to activate the trap, jump into it, it shoots you out. And there's supposed to be a little uh, box there that gives you the setting for that last dial, and I can't get the box to appear. It won't happen for me. So anyway, anyway, my call sign on um, I use uh, Xbox is Double Eagle D B L E underscore Eagle D 
E-B-L-E, Eagle, Double Eagle. And that's Electrical Engineer, Double Eagle. All right. Find me on, uh, on Xbox, too. Let me know. Okay. I am uh, going to sign off because I got to get other stuff ready. And I think Jake needs a little attention. He's, he's missing his sister. She went to the vet. She's got a little lump on her side. Vet's going to take a look at it. We'll see what happens. All right. Take care. Stay safe, please. And we will see you at 12 o'clock today. Um, we'll see you at 12 o'clock today. So until noon. And over there in Ireland, I'm expecting to see you too. So Ireland got to be here. We need Colombia, Felix. We need Egypt, Nihad. We need Japan. I can't. I can't go without go go on without Japan. So, you know. And then we all obviously we got our Canadian friends. We got the United States. So we are international. We will see you all at twelve o'clock today. I'm looking forward to it. Thanks. Stay safe. Please stay healthy at least until twelve. When I can remind you to stay healthy again.